Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Williams, AKA Coach Michelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Grab your pen and paper, guys. Get to a quiet spot because I am going to give you what's called a tutorial. I'm gonna walk you through so you have a clear understanding on how you can make money in this industry. I'm going to break down one client, a 24 seven. In a previous video, I explained to you guys how to staff a 24 seven. So now I'm gonna break down what those numbers look like. So get ready. For those of you that are chiming in for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Those of you that are returning, you already know how I feel about you. Mwah. All right, guys, so let's go. 24 seven. So you have several different ways to staff a 24 seven. I explained that in a previous video. Now I'm going to break down the money. How many of you want to know about the money? Okay, so let's say you have a client, and this will vary, guys. So you will have clients that's 24 seven. You'll have some that's 12 hours, three days a week, five days a week, seven hours, excuse me, seven days a week. You'll have some clients that are, you know, two days a week, three days a week. It's gonna vary. You may have clients that only need your services one day a week. So it will vary based on the needs of the client, okay? It's a client or consumer driven business. Let's focus on the 24 seven. Now you have client, that client needs service 24 hours, seven days a week. So now I'm gonna say 24 hours times seven days, which is 168 hours. Now you have determined that you're charging your client $30 an hour, right? So now we're gonna say, okay, how can I figure out of course, you're going to use some type of system, invoicing system. You're going to put together an invoice for your client. But now we're doing this, say, on paper and you're using your cell phone. So we're going to say 168 hours times $30. You are charging your client $30 an hour. And now I'm just using this round number, but you're going to charge based on what your local market can bear. So it may be 25, it may be 45. It just depends, right? So we're gonna say 168 times 30 is $5,040. So 168 hours times $30 is $5,040. And that's your weekly revenue. So write that down. Your weekly revenue, money coming into your business is $5,040. And then if we say, how much do we want or how do we determine what that is monthly? So we're gonna take the $5,040 and we're gonna times it by four, which would be $20,160. So $20,160 is what you will be generating in revenue per month for one client, okay? Per month for one client. And then on an industry standard, you're looking at a profit of somewhere between, I would say the average is 30%. So your average based on the industry is 30%. It could be 25%. It could be 35%. It could be 40%. It just depends on the math. And you are in control of that because you could charge your client more. You could charge your client less. You could pay your caregiver more. You could pay your caregiver less. So you determine. But on an industry standard, I'm comfortable with saying 30%. Okay. So then we're going to take that 20160 and we're gonna times that by 30%, which is going to be $6,048. So that's your 30% profit based on the revenue that you've generated. Because from that, you have overhead, you have your employee expenses. So let's jump over and write down employee expenses. Actually, we're gonna say employer taxes, what you're responsible for. So let's just say, you're charging your client $30, like we just went through that example. And now you're gonna pay your caregiver, say $15. Now, this is just an example, guys. You can pay your caregiver 16, 17, whatever you want. Again, you're in control of your profit. So we're gonna say, we're gonna take that 168 hours and then we're gonna break that down from a staffing perspective. Look at the previous video and determine how many A's you need. I personally like 12 hour shifts. So I would break that down into 12 hour shifts during the week. And then you can play around with the weekend, depending on how you want to do it. Of course, you could do eight hour shifts as well. So then you're going to say, okay, I have this 168 hours of 
of billable hours that I need to staff for. I'm gonna pay my caregivers, regardless of how many you have, $15 an hour. So then you're gonna say 168 times 15 is $2,520. And then you're gonna say, okay, what is FICA, right? Cause you have to pay your employer taxes. So then we're gonna say the FICA is 7.65%. Now, personally, I don't know if that's standard across the country. And I know many of you are in different countries, right? So I don't know if it's standard in the United States. If it varies, you know, state to state, I don't get into that part with my clients. That's between them and the Department of Labor and the government, okay? So I'm using 7.65%. So if I take $2,520, and times that by FICA that I'm using, AKA employer taxes, cause the employee's gonna pay that out of his or her paycheck and you have to match it as an employer, okay? So if I say 2,520 times 7.65%, that's $192.78, right? So you gotta know what your overhead is. So that's the employer expense, your payroll company, will manage that for you if you have a professional payroll company where they will submit your taxes quarterly, right? So that's a whole nother video. If you guys wanna know about that, put it down in the comments and then maybe I can do a video talking about, you know, employer taxes. Even though I'm not a CPA, don't pretend to be one here on YouTube. So then you know you have your rent, you have your utilities, you have your marketing, you have all those things that I took into consideration when I came up with that 30%. Okay. And there is a difference between net profit and gross profit. Okay. So you want to play around with that as well. And then let's jump back to, we said, okay, we have this client 168 hours a week, $30 an hour, $5,040 a week, which was $20,160 a month. So now let's do that annualized. How much can this one client, this one 24 seven client, generate a year. Now that I need my pen for. Okay, so I'm gonna do <laughs> times 52 weeks. So that's important guys, you don't wanna do times 12 because that's not gonna give you the same number. So we wanna do times, I don't think it gives you the same number because a month is gonna calculate four weeks versus 52 weeks in a year. So we're gonna do times 52. You may already have the answer because you're using a calculator. I'm longhand. So that comes out to $262,080. That's one client. $662,080. So 626, oh, excuse me, excuse me. 62, <laughs> 262, 080. $262,080, guys, okay? So one client. So now you could do the same thing with a 40 hour. So you would say 40 hours times 30. Then you do the same math. So I hope this has brought some clarity to those of you that were confused. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment. Definitely subscribe if you found value, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. So guys, if you want services, you want to know more about my services, of course, you can visit homecarecoaching.com, homecarecoaching.com. We have an amazing goal 2.0 program that will get you from start to finish. Yes. And don't forget your conference ticket. Go to homecarecoaching.com. From the menu, click on events and get your ticket because you need to be at, well, not, let me not say need, if you believe you need to be at the conference, um, I would love to see you there. So the conference is in Atlanta, March of 2025. Ooh, 2025 already! Six months away. So as far as the new year. So take care, guys. God bless. Mwah. Have an amazing, amazing, profitable, glorious day. <laughs> Take care, guys. Love you.